Aris Commander Edition 2014 provides the ability to change the colors of the display to better fit your needs. To do so, we may select the options box in a couple of ways. You can either find it here in the application menu or in the contextual menu by clicking the right button of your mouse. Then you go to display, elements colors, and from here we can select the element to be modified, which in our case is model background. Let's change it to white and click OK. I'll then press enter to relaunch the last command, which in this case is options. The command has a nice new feature, which is this search filter. This filter quickly helps you find any parameter just by entering the first few letters. The software lists the options that can match the name we're looking for. To visualize our model, besides being able to zoom using the mouse wheel or scroll by pressing it down, when you hold down the shift key while pressing the mouse wheel, the 3D orbit feature is activated and allows us to rotate the view very precisely and easily. Next, allow me to remind you that just like in AutoCAD, we have model space and paper space, which is represented by the feature layouts. Layouts are used to set up sheets, views, and scales of our project. If we press the right mouse button on one of these layouts, we will be able to rearrange the sheet with tools such as Move or Copy. We can recognize the familiar UCS icon that now only shows X and Y. Double-clicking inside a viewport, we can activate it and change the point of view. Then double-click outside, select the viewport. Now you can reduce its size, and we can move. and make a copy of the viewport. Again, we will enter inside a viewport by double-clicking and change the point of view. More generally, we can then customize the sheet with tables, dimensions, and text block, or anything that matters for the final representation on paper of our project.